In this lesson, I'll show you how to solve electrical circuit problems with integrals. The question reads, the voltage across a 10.6 Henry inductor is defined as this equation V is equal to the square root of 3T plus 25.4 and T represents the time where V represents the voltage. Find the current in the inductor 5.25 seconds if the initial current is 6.15 amps. To do this question, you'll need to know the following relationship. The voltage across an inductor is defined as V is equal to L, where L represents the inductance, times the derivative of the current with respect to time. From this equation, we get the current in an inductor formula, where current is defined as 1 over L times the integral of V dt, and the units are in amperes. The first thing that we'll do is we'll use this relationship to find current. So I will take 1 over 10.6, which is the inductance that's given, multiply it by the integral of this function. Here's how to do that. We have current is equal to 1 over 10.6, that's this part, the integral of this, 3t plus 25.4, square rooted dt. Now, I'll find the integral of this function. That's not hard to do. I'll set this part equal to u. That'll make it easier for me. So I'll set this equal to u. u is equal to 3t plus 25.4. Just writing this for reference. And that gives me, next I'll take the integral of u implicitly with respect to t. This gives me du is equal to 3t becomes simply 3 dt. Solving for dt, I get du over 3 is equal to dt, which I'll replace with this dt. Now I'll take this 1 over 3, this part, outside of the integral, making it easier for us to integrate, giving me 1 over 10.6 times 3 times the integral of the square root of u. I'll switch this term with u to the power of half, and it means the same thing mathematically. And from there, I can add 1, take the sum of this, which is 3 over 2, and divide this term by 3 over 2. Half plus 1 is 1 1.5, and that's represented by 3 over 2. Rearranging all this, I end up with u times 2 to the power of 3 over 2, over 3. I just found the integral. I don't need this symbol anymore. So 1 over 10.6 times 3 times 2 u to the power of 3 over 2 over 3. And I'll replace u with what I set it as originally. And what I set it as originally was 3t plus 25.4. And of course, don't forget the constant. I'll call the constant k and I'll make this equal to i. I need to find my constant next. So I'll use the information provided. They tell us that the initial current is 6.15. If that's the case, I can place 6.15 into here. And since it is the initial current, that means it's starting at time 0. So I can replace this t with 0. If I do replace this t with 0, this goes to 0, giving us the following expression. 1 over 10.6 times 3 times 3. And at the top, we have 1 times 2, that 2. And this has become 25.4 to the power of 3 over 2 plus k. So I'll find out what this is and then move it over to this side to solve for k. Here's how. We'll do the top part first. 2 times 25.4 to the power of 1.5, that's 3 over 2, divided by 10.6 times 3 times 3 is 9. And we end up with 2.68. We'll bring this part over now, giving us 6.15 minus 2 point, and that number again was 6.8 is equal to k. Using our calculator, 6.15 minus that number, we get 3.46 as our k value. And that's in amperes. 
Now, I finally have my K. I can sub it back into here, and I can find out the current at 5.25 seconds. Here's how. My current is equal to plus 3.46. Now I have to set my T equal to 5.25 seconds. And if I evaluate this on my calculator, if I set this T equal to 5.25, I should end up with a current of 9 amps. So there you have it. That is how to solve electric circuit problems with integrals.